So the Tim Forster Maiden is race two of week one. And I'm sure the Lotus Ring will be pretty much quicker this time as we take a look at the runners in this three mile hurdle. The maiden hurdle, of course, in the top one is Forest Rock, Kevin Meenahan. Half Howard Hancock, Stu Grace, Spanish Steps, Martin Leedams, the Sleotar, Kabiza T, Tower of London, Paul Rhodes, Ben Innes, Arthur, Arthur, Molly at Surfer, Green Beans, Derek Hinton, Gummer Valley, Darren Thompson, Louder Shining, Connor Aganti, Pembroke, Barrakilla, Pontypool Racing, and Vitadi Ma was Leon Van Rensburg. I think they're away and racing, and some great names again in this. Thank you very much, chaps. We've only got 11 horses, and there are probably only about three sensible names in the entire field. So, I'm sure you can make them all up to uh, try and make the life of Stu, Doug, and me a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. But, anyway, it's all a bit of fun, isn't it? As they make their way down towards the first of 10 flights of hurdles. Leo Tor is just about the leader from Green Beans in second. Bit of a gap then of about four lengths to Pembroke Barrakilla, who's on the outside of Forest Rock. The back marker early on is Gummer Valley. But at this stage, the Slea Tor is the clear leader. By about a length to Green Beans in second. There's a gap of about three lengths then as they finally get to the first hurdle. Good time for a jump and the Slear Tours in front from Green Beans in second. Then <laughs> brought Barrakilla in third. <laughs> for the second they go and it's the Slear Tour in front from Green Beans in second. A gap back then to Tower of London, Pembroke, Barrakilla, and Binny Sinatra. How does Shining after that one? The back marker at this stage is Gummer Valley. They make their way down towards the third flight of the Sleo Tar. He's the, uh, he's the leader at this stage. From Green Beans in second. Then Tower of London, Pembroke, Barrakilla, Binny Sinatra. Louder shinings after that one in Forest Rock. Spanish Steps is next as they take flight three. And the Sleotar has been in the lead for most of the way. Tower of London moved up on the outside in second. Then Green Beans is third. Benedict and Arthur is fourth. Then Pembroke Barracuda is five. And Louder Shining is sixth. Then Forest Rock and Half Hour Hancock. Then comes Spanish Steps. Come on, Valleys after that one. And Vladimir. It's just about the back marker at the moment, but it's the Sleer Tour in the lead. And they skip over number four. They're all safely over that one. And the Sleer Tour is the leader. Tower of London's moved through in a second as they jump the fifth. That's half the jumping done now then. The one that's making a bit of ground from the back is half hour Hancock. Easy words to say, but not easy words to say together, those. Especially if you come from the part of the world that I do, where it's very easy to drop your H's and stick them in the wrong place and all that sort of stuff. So, half hour Hancock is what we ought to be calling it, really. But we're trying to be sensible and calling it half hour Hancock, which doesn't work, does it? Because nobody says hour, do they? And Spanish steps is pulled up. And well, that's mine, so that probably serves me right for talking a lot of nonsense. And um, there you go. So, anyway, there's Slear Tars in the lead. From Tower of London in second, then comes Pembroke, Barrakilla, Green Beans, Forest Rock, Loud Shining, Gummer Valley, Half Hour Hancock is after that one, and then Benny Sinatra and Vladimir, Spanish Depth giving up the ghost, nowhere near as good as the good old chase that he was named after, it would seem. Did well for me on the flat last season though, won a few races, I won't stick him over fences this season, it's not like he's the hurdle so maybe we go chasing next week anyway they skip over flight number six and it's tower of london now on the outside of the Slea hotel and comes pembroke barracilla green beans and as i'm the only person who's commentated on any jump racing so far this season i think i can declare spanish depths as the first horse to be a victim of the pull-up kit so there you go feel sorry for me everybody because i'm the first one who's been victimized by the pull-up kit in the game. So there you go. The Sleo Tours leader then. Tower of London is second. Vladimir has now moved 
Cozily threw into third, and looks like it could be a bit of a Leon van Rensburg monster, doesn't it, at the moment? Because it looks like it's absolutely cruising. Then comes Pembroke, Barrakella, Green Beans, Gumma Valley, Forest Rock, Benison, Artra's trying to get a little bit closer. Half hour on cock is flattering to deceive, and another one being pulled up now. He's louder shining. They skip over the eighth. There's just two more to go after this one, then. And we've now had two pulled up, no fallers so far. But it's Vladimir in front, and Vladimir suddenly gone on. From Gumma Valley, who's in hot pursuit in second. Tower of London is in third, then Bella Sinatra, then comes Pembroke Barrakilla. But if this leader doesn't stop, I think he's going to win this in a canter because he looks to be going particularly well, and he's got the rest of them working hard behind. There's still two furlongs to go, there's still a couple of flights of hurdles to take, but we all know what Leon van Rensburg's jumpers are like, and we're not expecting this one to get caught, are we? As he races up towards the he did in running betting on SO6, he'd be taking this one at about 500 to 1 on at the moment, it's Vladimir who's well cleared, Gumma Valley's trying to close, so too's Tara London, and now we just get to prove, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, because here comes Gumma Valley on the outside, and we could have lost a fortune, couldn't we? Just listen to me, what an idiot, Gumma Valley tanks it, Gumma Valley's the winner, Vladimir, well, 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 looked all over the winner for most of the race, and there you go every single season it takes me about three races to confirm to everybody that i haven't got a clue what the hell i'm talking about Cumber valley wins it for darren thompson and vladimir is not even called vladimir he's called vatadmir <laughs> second for leon van Rensburg, tower of london paul rose third pembroke brannakella potty paul racing fourth benny sinatra and molly at server was fifth so the tim forster maiden is race two of week one and I'm sure the loading screen will be pretty much quicker this time as we take a look at the runners in this three mile hurdle a maiden hurdle of course in the top one is Forest Rock Kevin Meenahan half hour Hancock Stu Gray Spanish Steps Martin Leedham the Sleotar Kabiza T Tower of London Paul Rhodes Ben Innes Artra Artra Molly at Surfer Green Beans Derek Hinton Gumma Valley Darren Thompson Louder Shining Carla Aganti Pembroke Barrakilla Pontypool Racing and Vitadi Mar was Leon Van Rensburg. I think they're away and racing and some great names again in this. Thank you very much, chaps. We've only got 11 horses and there are probably only about three sensible names in the entire field. So I'm sure you can make them all up to uh, try and make the life of Stu, Doug and me a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. But anyway, it's what 